Hello and welcome back to Noggin Comics. Oh, for the first time, I'm Kyle, part of Noggin Comics. And today we're going to have another episode of Tales from the Ugly Chair. On today's episode of Tales from the Ugly Chair, we're going to be talking about Beef Bros Behind Bars. It is a sequel to a Kickstarter that came out, I want to say 2020, 2021. Uh, best way to put these two books as is Bodacious. Bodacious and fun. You find the characters that were, that were introduced in Beef Bros. Beef Bros are Ajax and Huey. Uh, one, I mean, both of them are bodybuilding action-packed, 80s-influenced, 90s-image-style characters. But, unlike the 90s comics, this, these issues have a uh, political satire, social commentary, and you have these two characters who basically may look like the stereotypical superheroes in comic books, yet they're very fun-loving, they just want to eat pancakes or work out and make sure everybody loves everybody. And in Beef Bros Behind Bars, they find themselves in prison because of they were they planted, they helped someone plant in a place that planting was illegal. And Huey, Ajax, and the person that they helped find themselves in prison. And while they're getting uh, introduced to prison life or uh, most of when, when they're given their uh, orange jump shoot, jumpsuits I should say uh, there is a guy who is in prison for embezzlement but he's able to pay off it, like it was, it was like a, t a typical Tuesday for him he was able to just scan his credit card and leave jail where another person who couldn't afford to pay who was in prison because he couldn't find a job he was in prison because he couldn't find a job basically was basically there for life and that's the type of social commentary this book isn't afraid to talk about and it, it talks about it in such a unique way and that's one thing i find myself really enjoying about aubrey sittenson uh, the writer of this uh aubrey has written no one left to fight uh the uh, comic book history of professional wrestling and stone master another kickstarter he released uh and he's got a few other books out there and they're all really good all in entertaining uh savage hearts i believe is another one he has out uh but to be honest with you outside of no one left to fight i think beef bros is my second favorite obvious citizen book and it's due to the fact that tyler cannon a twerk Callen, cannon who is the uh, artist of this, steals the book from him. Uh, some of the artwork in this is just insane. Like, you have this art right here of A. Jackson Huey. But then within the first couple pages, you have action like this going. So, I absolutely adore this book. And uh, another YouTuber, Graphic Policy, he talked about this book too and he made a good point he said that you don't need to be in the political sphere you would be a fan of the political commentary to enjoy this book and i absolutely agree with him because this is a fun book uh i could read it and you know other people who have different viewpoints than i can enjoy this book as well uh if there was any criticism i would like to have this book being the comic shops, honestly. I know it's a little difficult to say this is a crowdfunded Kickstarter, but I would love to see this book on the shelves and see people's reaction to it outside of those who got it on Kickstarter. Uh, maybe eventually down the road, uh, we were cheesed a third volume. Uh, maybe down the road we can get a collected uh, edition of this. But uh, if you've read Beef Bros, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget that we have a giveaway going uh, currently. 
uh, through August 31st, if you find a video, Knocking Comics is Not Dead, uh, there was a giveaway in that video, and all you have to do is comment. But, I hope you have a good day. See you at the comic shop, and don't forget to read the comic.